patient comes in, um, she is postmenopausal, had some bleeding. Mm -hmm. um, we evaluate that and find that it's not cancerous. Um, and she also has fibroids. And so it's been going on for a period of time. We tried a, a less invasive procedure a few years ago and that did not work. So now we're doing a hysterectomy. We're doing um, a single port laparoscopic procedure. Uh, and what the 3D technology we incorporate now in all our laparoscopic cases is it allows us to have a lot more precision at, grabbing at, at grasping tissue and identifying also pathology. So not only do we have the 3D technology, but we also have, um, with incorporating this, is we're able to filter out and enhance blood vessels that look abnormal. And so we can also look for pathology, disease states, uh, with the same technology. So the 3D component of it, um, if you look at, if you think of a, a two-dimensional screen and being able to um, look at depth perception, you have no depth perception. So when you go to the 3D movies, what is interesting is the depth that you get, which is more reality-based. So, you know, I know she's standing further than, than you are today, but if we were on a 2D screen, you'd be sort of looking at the same depth. So when we go to grass tissue or sea tissue and see how it's laid out, mm -hmm. we're seeing it in a three-dimensional image so that that gives us a lot more accuracy and precision. When we're um, looking at dissecting tissue, so let's say we have to, things are stuck together or we have to dissect out a tumor or we have to dissect out or free up an ovary or blood vessels, we're now seeing that in that three dimension so our precision is that much better and then that reduces complications and there's a ton of advances and, and, they're, and they're geometrical in, in how they're advancing. So um, we're seeing all of this technology get more precise, more higher resolution. And the higher the resolution, the more we can see. And then that means we're, you know, we'll be able to see things in great, great detail. So I do gynecological, minimally basic gynecologic surgery. Okay. Um, I, we, you know, we specialize here in single port surgery, so we're only making a small one incision. Um, and uh, this is, I use this on everything I do. Um, we've always sort of been at the leading edge of, you know, the technology and keeping incorporating that. So patients get real, uh, you know, everybody likes science fiction. And, you know, when you're, when you're introducing technology that puts you further into the future and enhances things, people think that's cool. At the end of the day, what they walk home with is a, is a, is a surgery that has less complications. They get home quicker, they recover quicker. So when we look at women's health care, I mean, what we really are looking at is how can we improve health care for women and reduce the number of surgeries, but if they have surgery, reduce the, the amount of invasiveness of that and get them recovered quicker.